स्टैंडर्ड इलेवन केमिस्ट्री यूनिट फोर केमिकल बॉन्डिंग एंड मॉलिकुलर स्ट्रक्चर पार्ट वन हियर वी डिस्कस अबाउट द केमिकल बॉन्डिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट सी द एग्जांपल हाइड्रोजन एटम इज कंबाइंड विथ the another hydrogen atom and it forms hydrogen molecule chlorine atom combine with another chlorine atom and it forms chlorine molecule or the sodium ion is combined with the chloride ion and it forms sodium chloride here the main question is that how the atoms are combined and it forms molecule or the atoms which holds together and it forms molecule here the strong force of attraction which holds the atoms together and it is called chemical bonding the chemical bonding means the attractive force which the constituents like atoms or ions together in different chemical species this uh, compound or molecule they are the different chemical species and is called chemical bonding here the word attractive force is very most important there are different types of chemical bond number 1 covalent bond ionic bond or it is named as electrovalent bond by sharing of electron the covalent bond is formed by transferring of electron from one atom to the another atom ionic bond will form then the metallic bond is formed between the molecule uh, sorry between the metal here the hydrogen bond hydrogen bond is formed between the hydrogen atom and the highly electronegative atoms like oxygen fluorine and nitrogen or the coordinate covalent bond in the last that is wonderwall's force of attraction it is a weak force this is the concept about the chemical bond the fo attractive force which 
holds the constituents together which holds the constituents constituents like atom or ions together in a different chemical species chemical species means here the chemical compound and is called chemical bonding chemical bondings like covalent bond ionic bond metallic bond hydrogen bond coordinate covalent bond or the weak force that is the van der waals force of attraction the main question is that why do why do the atoms are combined why only the certain combinations are possible or the why do the certain molecules possesses the definite shape for that here we discuss about the di different concept like causal lewis approach or valence cell electron pair repulsion theory or valence bond theory or molecular orbital theory first of all let's see about the causal lewis approach to chemical bonding according to lewis atoms in terms of the positively charged positively charged kernel or kernel kernel means nucleus and the inner electrons and the maximum maximum eight electrons in the outermost orbital or cell for example here sodium in its atomic number is 11 electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s1 here in the outermost cell there are 8 electrons sorry here in inner cell there are 8 electrons and, and the outermost cell there is one electron and here in first cell there are two electrons so total 10 electrons in a inner cell or the outermost cell only one electron here these eight electrons occupy the corners of cube uh, for example here this the cube it has eight corner 1 2 3 and 4 the fifth corner 6th 7 and 8 corner and this 8 electrons of the 
sodium occupy the eight corners here same situation is for argon 18 its atomic sorry its electronic configuration will be neon 3s2 3p6 in outermost shell there are 8 electrons or here for neon there are 1s2 2s2 and 2p6 there are 8 electrons in inner cell the 8 electrons of the outermost cell occupy the 8 corners of the cube here the same situation is here and Lewis postulates that the atoms achieved the stable octet when they linked by the chemical bonds stable octets means here in outermost cell there will be 8 electrons when they are linked by the chemical bond here by sharing of uh, sorry here, suppose here by transferring of electron sodium and its atomic number is 11 its electronic there are 2 8 1 and here for chlorine 17 2 8 7 to complete the octet of the chlorine it requires one electron while for the sodium to complete its octet it loses one electron when the sodium loses one electron it is converted to sodium ion now its electronic configuration as same neon here 1s2 2s2 2p6 it completes its octet there are 8 electrons in outermost cell and the chlorine atom its atomic sorry electronic configuration will be neon 3s2 3p5 there are seven electrons to complete it octet it required one electron so while the sodium atom loses one electron this electron will gain by the chlorine atom and it is converted to chloride ion now it's electronic configuration will be neon 3s2 and 3p6 here addition of one electron that so by gaining of one electron it's complete its octet there are eight electrons in the outermost cell here 
the by transfer of electron by transfer of electron from one atom to the another atom and it forms electrovalent bond or the ionic bond between sodium ion and the chloride ion is ionic bond and the another case the by sharing of electron and for example here the carbon its atomic number is 6 1s2 2s2 2p2 here the carbon atom has 4 single electron and the another atom which is hydrogen atom and its atomic number is 1 its electronic configuration will be 1s1 it has one single electron electron and here the four hydrogen atom is combined with the carbon here the four single electron of the carbon and here the four hydrogen atom It has also single electron to complete its octet or here the complete two electron it shares of one one electron and it forms covalent bond. The Methane molecule is from so by sharing of electrons, it forms methane molecule. For example, another suppose here fluorine, fluorine its atomic number is 9, 1s2, 2s2. 2p5 here total 5 plus 2 7 electrons in outermost shell it requires one electron to complete its octet the another fluorine atom which has same electronic configuration it requires one electron also here two fluorine atom here is this single electron is represented by the dot or here the single electron is represented by the cross yes, here suppose in 2p One, two, three, four, and five. This is a single electron or unpaired electron. These all are the paired electron. One, two, and three. One, two, and three paired electron. Same condition is here, it is represented by the cross.
now to complete this octet the shares the electron and it forms single bond here the cross here the valence electron means electrons remains in outermost cell or orbital and here the another concept about the Lewis symbol in the formation of molecule only the valence electron only the valence electron will take part here the Lewis symbol the electrons is represented by dot okay uh, for example here the lithium and its atomic number is 3 its electronic configuration is 1s2 2s1 in outermost shell there is one electron it is represented by single dot ally and it's represented by single dot then beryllium its atomic number is 4 1 s2 2 s2 here in outermost shell there are two electrons here is the two electrons and for the boron 1s2 2s2 and 2p1 now there are three electrons in the outermost cell 2 plus 1 3 so here the three electrons represent by the dot is the Lewis symbol or representation for carbon 6 1s2 2s2 2p2 here in outermost cell there are four electrons For nitrogen 7, 1s2, 2s2, 2p3, there are 5 electrons in the outermost cell, One, two, three. nitrogen 3 single electron and 2 Paired electron. Okay, it is present. Okay, now for the oxygen, atomic number is eight. Electronic configuration will be one s two, two s two, two p four. Here is the two s and 2p 1 2 3 and 4 electrons there are two single electrons and two paired electron paired electron means two electrons or unpaired electrons means single single electron it is represented by here is the two single 
electrons and the bad electrons okay and the valence electron and their valency there there is one two and three elect valence electron their valency will be plus one two plus plus one plus two and plus three if there are five six or seven electrons their valency if the valence electrons are five their valency will be minus three if valence electrons are six their valency will be minus two and the seven electrons seven valence electron their valency will be minus one or if there are four valence electron it shares the electron okay friends so this is the concept about the chemical bond and the Lewis symbol next time we will discuss another topic thank you very much